ahead and we will get started. We're going to work a lot on our high notes today. So first things first, we're going to take our hands, stretch them up nice and tall. Take a deep breath in and exhale out. Bring your arms down and then roll your shoulders forward. I'm so excited. My musical just closed. So now I'm just back to doing my own warm ups and go ahead and roll your shoulders backward. Whew. I feel like that show happened so quickly. There we go. All right. Take a nice, low, deep breath in. And exhale out. We're going to do our normal breathing exercises. Go ahead and check your posture, whether you're sitting or standing. We're going to do our breathing in for four counts, holding for four counts, and hissing out for eight. So go ahead and take a nice, low, deep breath in.
and then we go to a tall ah. Uh. and slow in middle, low range, and high range. But speaking of low range, let's go to our lower register. We're going to do our exercise. Again, we're not going to let in any H's. The opposite of staccato would be zing, 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 zing. But this we want zing, 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 zing. Very short and disconnected.
we're getting over stage fright. Hayden, were you with us when I was going into Tech Week for Cinderella and I asked everyone that question? Go ahead and unmute and let me know. Did we have that talk about getting over stage fright or being scared to sing or perform in front of others? That's okay. Have you ever had stage fright or do you know anybody that has or does? When I was doing tech for Cinderella, I think I told you guys we're going to go into rehearsal for like six hours a night so we can practice it over and over. So when we got to the theater to do the show, I don't think I was very nervous because we had already done that kind of show over and over so many times. It was just kind of like clockwork. You don't have to think about it. What show were you auditioning for? Did you do an audition already? Ooh. That's so cool, congratulations! That's so awesome! Yes! Ooh, that is awesome. When, when is your show happening, or did it already happen? That is so cool. Will you keep me posted each week, okay? That's so amazing! You know what? When your show happens, I'm going to put a post on our page in class and let anybody that's in a show post like a picture if they want. I'm pretty sure I did that in our class, right? Didn't I post something like, hey guys, oh yeah, behind the scenes and everything. Awesome. Let's go ahead. I have a new exercise I've, I've been practicing that I want to do in our class. I think you guys will easily be able to do it. We're going to start it on either a hum or a lip buzz, and it's going to go through middle and low range. We're not yet at number six. We're not at our high range yet, but on either a hum or a lip buzz, I'll do mine on like a lip buzzing or trill. The It sounds like this. Let me turn my mic up. There we go. This is just to get the voice moving between the low and middle. The piano is going to sound like this. Humming or lip buzzing will help with your breath support. comfortably in your range or more of the middle oh so did you like that last exercise where we sat right in that nice comfortable range 
Mm, I did too. I can sing high, but sometimes I like to sing in the middle where it's more comfortable, especially when I'm like in my studio and I don't want to like interrupt anybody else. I'm like, let's just stay in the middle range. I totally get it. But number six. Y-A-W. Yaw. Kind of like the word yawn without the N. And why we're using that word, it's going to help us drop our jaw and put as much space in our mouth as we can. One, two, three. tense in like my shoulders because I'm like oh it's a high note so if I move a part of my body that's not my shoulders that, then I can't make them tense and it helps it helps make the rest of your body just more relaxed if you want it's a tool in my toolbox one register. We'll go a little bit higher. We'll sing E. Do it that much that's okay i don't do it that much either unless i'm singing a particular piece or a character that requires it in our class we will work on like warm-ups with belting but we're not going to work on here's the piece we're going to be screaming our face off with no 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 what i like to do for belting warm-ups and i'll do it with you here so you also have it in your toolbox i like to use the word yeah and belting to me at least healthy belting is all about where you place your sound. If I'm singing, it's called legit or classic sound. I'll sing, yeah, yeah. There's nothing belting about it. There's vibrato in it. If I am belting, I might put it more forward where it almost sounds like it's coming out of my nose. I'll put it too far forward, which would sound like this. Yeah. And then I would pull it back so it wouldn't sound so nasally. Yeah. 
light warm up that I like to do. I'll take it too far forward where it literally sounds like I'm sinking out of my nose and then I'll pull it back. For this class, what we're gonna do, we're gonna do the yeah slides, but we're not gonna put it so far forward. We're not gonna sound like a character voice. We will sing yeah. Notice there's no vibrato in this at all. This is not like, I'm a classically trained singer. Yeah, would be a classically trained sound. We want yeah, straight tone. Ready, one, two, three, four. because we talked about it in our last week's class, in last week's class, excuse my grammar. Straight tone singing is just, ooh, it's straight, there's no movement. Vibrato is moving your vocal cords up and down quickly. Ooh, it's vibrato, ooh, it's without. So we're going to sing the same note on an ooh vowel, two beats straight, two beats vibrato, two beats straight, two, four, six. So, A lot of pop, musical theater, jazz singers, they'll sing a song and they'll put vibrato on the end of the phrase or the word. They'll sing the whole thing in a straight tone. Um, I'm trying to think, like Little Mermaid. Um, Wouldn't you think I'm the girl, the girl who has everything. There's vibrato on ing of everything, but every straight tone and then thing has vibrato. So what we'll do. to hear a song that you are working on or if I can pull it up and we can work on it if that's okay normally this is a group class but if it is going to be just me and another person absolutely I'd want to know what you're working on if there's a song you're looking for Hayden if I didn't tell you before I have made our class a group YouTube channel did I tell you that before when you were here oh my goodness you did did you notice I really like to add the option of sheet music for you guys. So let's pretend like you're singing Encanto. Do you know all the music in Encanto? Oh, you're muted, but I'm going to assume you do. Have you seen this movie? Yeah. So if you, if you go down, like let's say you want to sing one of those songs. If you wanted that sheet music, I actually put it in the description box. So it's right here, just like that. So I want you guys to have access to free sheet music. So you have subscribed. Have you seen a bunch of videos on here? If you're... Oh my gosh. Will you, will you put requests in the chat for me? That way if you have a request for a song, 
um, I can put it in there. Would that be okay? That is awesome. Is there any movie? You notice I did an Encanto movie musical and I, uh, I did Frozen. No, I did Tangled. My next ones are going to be um, Little Mermaid, Frozen, probably going to even do one from Cinderella where I will give you guys the musical theater sheet music to Cinderella. If you're ever looking for music, always ask me in case I have it and I would love to send it to you. If you ever noticed, if you buy music online, it's really expensive, like $10 for one song. So if you're looking for stuff, make sure, who are you going to ask first? Me. That's right. <laughs> me. Let's go ahead. Let's do a full range exercise, shall we? notes like our yeah but only this time we're not gonna be in a belting placement and we're just gonna be either humming it also helps us practice slides which happens sometimes in pop rock jazz and musical theater 